Renis's Flash Programmer Tutorial Video How to Generate and Program DLM Keys for RA with SCE9 This video first explains the purpose of device lifecycle management and DLM keys. Next, we will see how to generate DLM keys. Finally, we will program a DLM key and show how it is used. RA Family MCUs with the SCE9 Crypto Engine Support Advanced Device Lifecycle Management, or DLM. The DLM state defines the permitted debugging and programming operations. During production programming, these interfaces can be permanently locked. DLM provides the optional ability to re-enable these interfaces by authenticated DLM state regression. To learn more, See the application note, RA Family Device Lifecycle Management Key Installation. We will now walk through the steps required to generate and install DLM keys. First, download the security key management tool from the Renesis Electronics website. We will use this tool to create the key files needed for key installation. Next, download the Renesis Flash Programmer. We will use this tool to securely install the DLM key and to change the DLM state. Now we will define a DLM key. For this example, we will use a simple 16-byte value. In practice, use a random, hard-to-guess value and store it securely, since this key can re-enable debugger and programmer access. To install the DLM key, we must create a user factory programming key. The UFPK is a temporary key used to encrypt the DLM key. This key should also be managed securely. In this example, we use the security key management tool to generate a random UFPK and key file. Now we must wrap the UFPK to create the WUFPK. The WUFPK is created from the UFPK by the Renesis key wrapping service. Register and log into the key wrapping service and perform a PGP key exchange. To wrap the UFPK, select the target MCU. Use the Renesis public key to encrypt the UFPK key file and upload the encrypted file. You will receive the WUFPK key file by email, encrypted with your public key. Finally, we will create a Renesis key file for secure DLM key installation. Using the security key management tool, Provide the DLM key data, the UFPK key file, and the WUFPK key file to create a Renesis key file containing the encrypted DLM key and the WUFPK. This example generates a Renesis key file for a DLM key that will permit regression from the non secure software development state to the secure software development state. Note that all key data contained in this file is encrypted. Now let's program and use the DLM key with the Renesis Flash Programmer and an EKRA6M5 evaluation kit. Connect the PC to the EK board and launch RFP. Create a new project, selecting JLink as the communication interface. On the Operating Settings tab, tick only the Program Flash Options checkbox. On the Flash Options tab, Change DLM keys to set and select the Renesis key file. To program the key, go to the Operation tab and click Start. RA Family MCUs with the SCE9 Crypto Engine allow authenticated DLM regression. Before proceeding with non-secure system development, we would transition from the secure system debug state to the non-secure system debug state. No authentication is required for this transition. However, if we try to return to the secure system debug state, authentication is required. When prompted for the key, enter the plaintext DLM key. Note that the Renesis key file cannot be used. RFP performs the required authentication challenge response, and the DLM state change is permitted. For more information about DLM keys, refer to the following documents available on the Renesis website. You can get more information about the Renesis Flash Programmer from renesas.com rfp.